I think it's something in between uh, 2007 2009 because in that time it appears in some of those websites about architecture about something uh, technologies they talk about uh, advanced technologies in that time or fu future that comes uh, and that's that's more more or less the moment when I first time realized that uh, that something is moving and uh, that things are going to change for sure. Many people heard about it so far because uh, even since 2010 or maybe in some countries a few years late, uh, earlier or later start to appear at least on the websites about construction, about architecture, about design here and there some kind of article about BIM or some initiatives all around the world. So I think that the majority of the engineers who are in charge of making projects, one or another way, they heard about it, the process, maybe they do not understand exactly how it works and what for they have to change it again to learn something, some new software or whatever. But I think that awareness, it's not, I wouldn't say pretty high, but that majority of the people who are in industry, they know about it. Generally, like all around the world, uh, we are facing many changes. We are living in more uh, quicker, quicker and quicker uh, daily life. And uh, also in, in, in the sector of construction, sector of uh, projects and architecture, uh, demands are always uh, to have some results as soon as possible, to have some solutions as soon as possible. But also what is really concerning right now, uh, generally in the world, it's uh, are, let's say, expenses of the project in general, but also expenses of the maintenance of the project later on. Because in one of those uh, lectures about BIM, I heard also a very interesting comparison that uh, for each, let's say, euro spent for making a project, they should be spent like 20 euros to build up, and then to maintain the building or facility, it should be spent up to 60 euros which means that the, the main money is going to be spent during the utilization of the building and now more and more people or awareness arise about it. It's not just to be nice, to be useful, to be practical, but also to be possible to be maintained as low cost possible. So far I think that only Croatia, because of as a member of EU, has some kind of uh, obligation to follow some of those di directives and the ministry of uh, or ministries who are in charge for construction and, and, and other things I think that they do working on that and also in the last year we noticed much more activities or more seminars in Croatia that are announced to be done in, in various, city, various cities and I, I think that it's uh, only obligatory there so far uh, I couldn't speak up much about other countries, but in Bosnia, so far, I didn't recognize or didn't saw any particular ministry that's really involved in it. There are quite a few projects developed, let's say, generally in BIM. Uh, maybe, maybe very few in BIM in total, with all parts of the project to be implemented in the sense of using some particular software, but. Uh, there, there are quite a few projects done where at least architectural part or construction part or some other parts of projects were done in some of those softwares who are pretend actually are part of BIM family how, how you can do it. Uh, right now uh, there are a few projects, uh, ongoing projects in Sarajevo or in Bosnia that I heard about. BIM Alliance is a rather new organization founded in, in Sarajevo and Bosnia Herzegovina. Uh, started as an idea to put together some efforts and some information that we know among ourselves about BIM. On one spot, uh, we would like to put on, on our website, on our other, other means of uh, communication with the public uh, today, and uh, also to be kind of uh, information hot spot in Balkans, hopefully in the future, because we also spread the idea with the colleagues in other countries. And uh, hopefully 
to be a place where people, when they start to, to be informed about BIM, can go there and, and learn something, and uh, also a place where they could come back.